Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. As you just breathe in his presence, as you yes, just Lord. breathe in and let out all the toxins, mm -hmm. let out all this, any bad feeling, yes. any negative thought, yes. it's out, be gone, it's be free. We are yes. flying with the Lord. We don't yes. not hold, we're not holding on to any negativity yes. at all. Hallelujah. We in a sacred place. We we approaching the secret tabernacle of yes. the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. We found it. Hallelujah. And we stepped in. Hallelujah. So we're gonna dust off our clothes. We're gonna dust off ourselves because we are new. We stepping into a new dimension of peace of prosperity, of healing, of power, of grace, yes. oh, of emancipation, yes. emancipation, yes, emancipation, yes. emancipation of what? Yes. Emancipation yes. of all that held you bound, emancipation of any negativity, yes. emancipation of any toxins yes. held up in that body, any bad thoughts in that mind? He's setting us free today. He said, today is time to be free. Hallelujah. He said, this is a Juneteenth like no other. He said, this is a Father's Day like no other. He said, today you're going to feel the power of his majesty. He said, today you're going you're gonna to be touched. Hallelujah. You're going to be touched by the Holy Spirit. He said, today I'm going to touch you. I'm going to free you. You're going to receive a supernatural touch up in here. Holy Lord God. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Oh, Lord God. He said, the power that's within me, hallelujah, yes. is going to touch you. Yes. Wherever you are, it's going to touch you on food. It's going to touch you on Facebook. It's going to touch you right here in this place. He said, I'm reaching out right now. He said, let me in. <laughs> He let me in, hallelujah. Let me into that mind, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, wow. He came to shake up some situations. He came to release some favor. Oh, 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 oh. We come to release some supernatural favor. Hey, hey. Wow, Lord. Wow, Lord. Uh, you ask. You ask how to get more joy. Isn't that what you ask for? How to find more joy. How to find more provision. How to find more favor. But I'm here. <laughs> you summon me up. Holy Spirit, oh Lord God. Ah, Hashem la. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Today is that day. You stepped into something mm, when you came in here. You stepped into like a live wire anointing, hallelujah. A double portion anointing in this place. <laughs> That's what you stepped in. Oh, God, Lord. Hey, oh. Glory. Hey, hey, oh. oh. Whoa. <laughs> you stepped in something. You stepped into some glory. Yes, you stepped into some extreme oh, favor yes, when you came in here my lady servant hey, oh, she yes. had been asking me oh, yes. ah, about provision hallelujah her husband had been asking me about provision hallelujah well i came today to let you know i am jehovah Jireh. Yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, grace is sufficient. Um, hey, hey. Yes, That's what he says. He says, my grace, hallelujah, yes, is sufficient. Yes, he said, my grace, yes, my grace, yes, my grace, yes, hallelujah, is sufficient. Yes, Whatever it is that you're dealing with. Yes, my grace, not the grace of my lady servant. I'm talking about the grace of God, the Father. Yes. I'm talking about the grace, hallelujah. 
of God the Son. Hallelujah. I'm talking about the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit at your service. Hey, hey the more you serve me, ah. Uh, you release some grace. The more you serve me, you release some favor. The way you serve me, release some favor. Holy, 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 holy man of hope. Jehovah Sabor. Hallelujah. 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 For such a time as this. Yes, Lord. For such a time as yes, this, Lord. Yes. he's releasing extreme grace. So you stepped in some grace. So you walked in here today and you didn't know what you was walking into. Hallelujah. God set you free today Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. Ricochet a blessing now, Lord. Hit it, oh Ricochet a blessing now, Lord God. Hit it, oh Lord God. Ricochet, ricochet, ricochet a blessing. Whoa, I, the energy, the Holy Spirit. Ricochet, ricochet, ricochet a blessing. Hey, yeah, to the wall. Ricochet, ricochet, healing. It's in this place. Healing. Wherever you need that healing. Put your hands on that part. Put your hands on that body. Wherever you need that healing. Ricochet. Heal. Heal my body. Heal my body, Lord God. Everywhere. Heal me. Here I am. Here I am. Here I am. I came to worship. And I got a healing. I came to worship today and I got what I was asking you for. I came to church today. I put on my shoes, I got dressed and I came to church today. <laughs> I didn't argue. I didn't say no. I didn't grumble. I didn't complain. I came to church today. I came to church today and I got a blessing. <laughs> I got set free, hallelujah, on this Juneteenth, hallelujah. I got restored, hallelujah. The enemy can't hold me bound no more because it's ricocheting through my soul. It's on me, all over me. It's in me now, the freedom of the blood, hallelujah. It's covering me now from my head to my feet, hallelujah. The anointing is powering me up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. And my grandchild got a blessing. Hallelujah. Power is being dispersed. Power and grace is being dispersed. Hallelujah. In this place. Hallelujah. Cup your hands and receive him now. Cup your hands and receive your blessing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, man. Hallelujah. Wow. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Worthy. His grace endures forever. God is saying he wants you to stock up on provision. Yes. He said, now is the time to stock up. He don't, he's not, where are you going to get the money? Some people ask, well, where are we going to get the money to stock up? He said, you believe in me. I'm a big God. I'm the biggest God there is. I'm the God. I'm God almighty. Hallelujah. You got to trust in me. As you trust in me, as you believe me, I shall send you provision. Hallelujah. What is that, Lord? My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus. Do you believe it? Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah. So stop your worrying. It's time now to stop your crying in the night. Whenever it is you do the crying and the worrying. It's time now to start praising him at that time. It's time now to just 
Thank him at that time. Thank him for his supreme grace, for his mercy. Hallelujah. Amen. God says to be strong and be of a strong heart. Be courageous. And if you want to be seated, you certainly can. You know, I'm so sorry. <laughs> be strong and be courageous, he says. Yeah. He says he needs you to learn discipline and perseverance because those two things will take you a long, long way. Some discipline and some perseverance. A lot of people don't have a clue about discipline. They will not discipline their minds. They instead just acquiesce to all the enemy's plans. No, God don't want you to just keep saying yes to every nonsense thought letting those unpure thoughts into your mind. He said, I don't want, he don't want your vessel, your temple to be corrupted from yes. every unclean thought, from oh, yeah. every unclean energy, from all that set of toxins that's out there. He said, it's time now. You're going to discipline yourself. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Father God. Praise his name. Hallelujah. Not only does God want you to be strong and survive, you see, God wants you to thrive. He said, beloved, above all things, I wish that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. This is above all what he wants from you, beloved. He was very clear about it, what he wants from you above all things. And this is it so that you can prosper and be in good health. So you can have money. So you can have good health. Everything that you want, he wants for you as well. Amen. 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 I joke and I say, God wants you to be healthy. We're now dealing with Oprah and Oprah wants you to be healthy. You want to be healthy. So what's the problem? There is no problem. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You're going to be healthy. In the name of, of Jesus, as much as you believe, so shall it be according to your faith. Hallelujah. We thank God. Hallelujah. God says to stay under his wings and under his laws. He has some laws. He wants you to stay under the wings and the laws. Hallelujah. When, when you depart from that, you fall out of grace. He says he doesn't want you to fall out of grace. He wants you up underneath him. Yes. He wants you to stay close. Hallelujah. He don't want you to get bit by even anything, not even a fly. He don't want anything to happen to you. Hallelujah. He wants you to, to just st stay up. He wants to hold you up in his hands like a baby. He wants, he wants you up underneath him because you are his beloved, he said. You are his beloved. He wants you to be in good, good health so you can run and jump and climb and stuff and do all kind of stuff, boating and horseback riding. All the good life, he wants you to experience all of those good life, running. You know, he wants you to do these things. He don't want you to have inflammation. He don't want you to have cancer. He don't want you to have diabetes. He wants you to have good, good health. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. He wants you to make sure and live your life according, obeying his word, according to his will. Hallelujah. Not your will, not to do what you want. Because you want to do what you want with his temple. He created you. You are his beloved. You are his child. But yet you want to put every negative, toxic thought, toxic food into your system, poisoning your system with too much alcohol, with too much drugs, with too much anything, soda, too much, too much, too much. He says, stop it already. He says, stop it. That's right. Stop it already. Hallelujah. I want you to be healthier. Get some plants. Get some greens, some veggies. Look for some minerals. Look to keep up that body. Come on now. Hallelujah. This is your only temple for this lifetime. And this lifetime is a wicked lifetime that we have. This is a wicked time that we live in, where the enemy is looking to devour us every single day. Hallelujah. The enemy is looking to devour us. Take us down. We've been seeing some very tough attacks. 
We've been fighting them through. Yes, Lord. We've been pushing back. We've Hallelujah. been fighting. We have on the full armor. Yes, and you should too. Yes. You see, you're going to need the helmet of salvation. Amen. This is the time you need to be saved. Yes. And know that you saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're going to need the breastplate of righteousness. Because you need to live a holy life already. Hello. This is the time. Mm -hmm. You're going to need the sword of the spirit, which is his word. You're going to need to know his word. Amen. You're going to need to understand that word. You're going to need to carry that word because it's going to come a time when ain't nobody going to go to that word because they're going to be on their cell phone. So where's your sword? I was in my cell phone. But dude, you don't got no Wi-Fi. What you going to do? Let me get my real sword and stop playing. There's going to come a time, like in that movie, Book of Eli, where Bibles are a bit extinct because nobody is reading them much anymore. And he who have understanding will have power. He could understand the words, the sharp-edged words of the Bible, the manual for our soul, the manual for good living, so the enemy can't kill you. He is looking to kill you already. Understood, right? He's not going to kill you. Kill, kill, kill. Teeth, destroy. You, target. You, target. How? Any means necessary. How? Any means necessary. Who can stand the attack? Child of God. Man of God. Woman of God. You will be able to withstand the attack. This grace is sufficient. Put on the full armor. You're going to need a shield. It's called a shield of faith. With which you can extinguish all the fiery darts of the evil one. They're going to be gunning for you. Literally, okay? Schools and churches, okay? We keep the door shut. Okay, it's locked. They're gunning for us. You're going to need the sword. You're going to need the shield of faith to believe in yourself and your dreams. And not let the enemy get in your head to tell you that you're nobody, that you will never succeed. Go home and sit down. As a matter of fact, he tells other people other things. Far worse. There's a lot of teenagers committing suicide under the direction of the evil one. There's a lot of teenagers going on mass bombing, killing people, left, right, and center. Come on now. We need the blood of Jesus. We need the grace of God. We need the armor of God. We need to know where the secret tabernacle is so that we can find shelter from God. The secret tabernacle is in the book. Amen. It's where you can find it. But if you're not reading, because on this Juneteenth, I want to remind you that traditionally, historically, it has been said of Black people, and colored people, if you don't want them to know, put it in writing. Because they don't read. You understand? We have to read. We have people died. A lot of people died for us so that we could learn how to read. And now we can read, and now we're not reading. All that we need to know about what's coming is in the book of Revelation. Yeah. God said that the swordsman is on his way now. Yeah. That's why he's yeah. saying to get the provision in. Yeah. That's why he's saying to go out there and buy your rice, get some money wherever you can <laughs> buy provision. Stock up now. Stock up now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We want to live constantly live under his grace. We want to stay under his grace, right? We, wanna, we don't want to fall out. We don't want to go pull us straight. We don't want anybody to pull us astray where we fall under serving the other guy by accident, by default. Ain't none of that happening, right? Because we are vigilant, right? We are alert, as alert as he wants us to be. We're not sleeping on the other guy. He's coming to steal our life and our children's life and our grandchildren's life. So we Hallelujah. cannot be sleepy. We cannot be drunk. Hello. <laughs> okay. All right.
You say you can't be so, you, you can't stay sober. But what's coming? You gotta control yourself, okay? Because what's coming, you're gonna need money, all the little money that you have, you're gonna need it for food. Especially if you live in urban areas, you're gonna need it for food. If you're not growing your own chicken, you're gonna need every little money you can find to keep chicken on, on your plate. You gonna, it's a time like that. In a time like that, you can't afford to be strung out on looking for um, a bottle somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Looking for a, a drink, you know? Everything in moderation. That means you're gonna have, if you like a little drink, hey, listen, everything in moderation, okay? Okay, they used to drink wine in the Bible, in biblical days, they drank wine. God is not saying don't drink wine ever. Amen? It, moderation. Moderation. Because if you abuse it, when you're ready for it, then you turn into a junkie because there ain't none. Amen? All right? So we praise God. We thank God for giving us this moderation. We thank God for showing us the way not to abuse any any substance amen so we thank god for that hallelujah hallelujah so if today that you decide to follow god and not to indulge in everything too much this is a decision that you gotta make a decision to be happy a decision to be joyful you see that joy that you sang of you felt it it's deep in our soul hallelujah it's it's in us and that joy we're not gonna let that joy go no matter what happens no matter what happens we're gonna hold on to that joy okay amen because that joy that that uh trust is what's gonna keep us alive in this time Yes. That positive spirit, yes. that smile, you know what I mean? Where you can smile, where you can decide to be happy despite what's going on around you, despite things Hallelujah. falling out. You decide to be happy. You decide to be joyful. Oh, you, yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God. We thank God for that joy. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we thank God for coming in this place, the spirit was so, woo, it was like, yeah. the Holy yeah. Spirit is Hallelujah. wonderful, yeah. isn't, yeah. isn't yeah. the Lord good? Yeah. Hallelujah, yeah. God is good all the time, all yeah. the time, yeah. all the time, yeah. not sometime, but all the time. Oh, Amen. 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 So we're going to take an offering, we're going to thank God, we want to be able to continue to buy food, to be able to buy everything. Father God, we thank you for your financial help. We thank you for multiplying this, this offering, whatever everybody was able to give. We thank you, Lord God, that is going to blossom into a huge, huge yes, tree. Yes, wow, full of mangoes, full of fruit. I see it laden with fruit. That's what I see. I see a tree laden with fruit and I see us thanking God for provision. Oh my God. That's awesome. Thank you, Father. So no longer do you have to worry about provision. Jehovah Jireh, he will provide for you just as he provides for the birds and the bees. He shall provide for you and for your family, your children, your children's children, your parents, your everybody, every family member. Ask God right now to provide for you and for them. Thank you, Lord, for providing for me and for my family members. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you for that joy, and we thank you for that favor. In the name of Jesus, amen. 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 Thank, you, Lord God. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Abba. Thank you. I feel like we need a little song. Hallelujah. As we thank the one. I just want to let you know that we are worshiping at 11542 Sutphin Boulevard. And we are in Jamaica, Queens, 11434. This is Dr. Lord and my husband, Martin Marcel. And we hope that you will stop by when you're in the Jamaica, Queens area and worship with us. We're here from 1 until 3. So thank you. You can visit us online, make a donation to the cause of good health 
of Prosperin, the website is royalpeoplegroup.com. And please join the Oprah tree by registering for the documentary. It is October 10th. And we want all people of color to look at this documentary and be part of it. It's going to change your life. Now, if you want to be an ambassador for health, yes, that's right, an ambassador for health, good health, we want you to register and send us a picture so you can be on the Oprah tree. This tree is all about building good health, good wealth, because in order for you to be enjoy your wealth, right, the provision, the protection and the order for all of these good stuff. You want to be in good health to enjoy your life. And God wants you to enjoy your life. Amen. 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 Thank you. All right. Praise God. That song that I was hearing, was it this little light of mine? I'm going to let it shine. Um, Order your six pack today and become much healthier. Boost the immune system, maybe even make it a gift. Someone that you care about, your loved ones, it's Valentine's Day coming up. Check us out, Mother Earth Juice Bar Cafe, 116-03 Metropolitan Avenue. That's Richmond Hill Q Gardens in Queens, New York. Call us, 347-494-5487. Eight, five. Live a tonic six pack. We got the fight back. We got the mother earth power. Fresh juice, conqueror, carrots, parsley, ginger, apple. We got the take care of me, all green juice, Austin power, orange, pineapple, strawberry, cantaloupe, and lots more. Feel for some sorrow? Oh yeah, we got it right here at mother earth juice. This is Dr. Lord. I'm right here. Mother Earth Juice Bar Cafe, home of the famous Power Shot. Now, if you have mucus, if you have asthma, if you have all that respiratory ailments going on, and you want to clear up your sinuses, any of that, or maybe you have inflammation, well, I want to introduce you to the Power Shot. Dr. Lord's Power Shot will clear up all those things. It's a six-in-one formula, and it helps you to have a healthy heart. So come on down to Mother Earth Juice Bar Cafe and sample, get a free sample of the Power Shot. It makes you say, woo, clears you out. You might even start dancing again. So come on down and check us out. 115.42, Sutphin Boulevard, make your way down. You get a free sample. All right now, God bless you. One love.